we wanted to know how much do NCKU students know about their university and the storage secret it holds. So here is the result. So this is a picture mm -hmm. of a historical building in NCKU campus. Do you know the historical meaning of it? No, I have no idea. And what do you think it is? Probably a library. Do you know why the name of the university is Tungo? Not really. I mean, I think it's important to know its history, but I don't know if it is. What about the use it has, the building nowadays? Do you have any idea of it? Or what do you think it is? Is it still a library? Um, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Okay, thank <laughs> you. Here we have a historic place located in China. Do you know, or do you have any idea? What, where do you think it is located? I saw it before and I know it is in the Chengong University, like in the campus. And I read something about it that is, has been there since it opened. What about the school motto or these this Chinese characters you can see here? Do you know what it means? Maybe I can read it, but I don't know the meaning. Here I have some pictures of the hospital that you can see and I wanted to ask you uh, what do you think is the purpose of these small holes at the ground level? Uh, I Here I have another picture and this, this, is a, this is a bridge that connects the two buildings of the hospital, the two main buildings. Uh, why do you think there were two main buildings and they were so far away from each other? Okay. Thank you very much. Located at the intersection of University Road and Shengli Road, it marked the entrance to the school. The president of the university, Mr. Chang, suggested the school motto, study or be placed on the new entrance, which is a homophone in Chinese for poor than you know. The base, or plinth, is inspired by Buddhist and palatial architecture. Although people call it an arc, it is actually a post and lintel design and there is a cloud motive along the lintel. NCKU members refuse to move the arc of where it is the actual and original location. We are now here at the China Garrison Hospital, better known as the Military Hospital. Nowadays, it is used by the Department of Literature of NCKU. These holes made at the ground level were made to make the air flow and lower down the temperature of the building. Also, to improve the quality of the air inside. This bridge where we are walking right now helped to connect the two main buildings of the hospital and also serve as the border between the infected and non-infected patients. I'm standing in front of what it used to be the Tainan Technical College founded in the year 1931 by the Japanese government. Later, in 1956, will be upgraded to a provincial university named after Koshinga, Chengkong, a Chinese military leader who drove the Dutch East India Company from Taiwan. Nowadays, it serves as a museum that holds different exhibitions. The main exhibition being the history of NCKU from 1931 to 1945. For more information, make sure to visit museum.ncku.edu.taiwan.